I'm the corpse in the background. <laughs> You're the either. I'm the murder victim. I either have a corpse in the background or all of my laundry that I need to put away in the background. Whatever. This is real life. So yesterday I filmed my update on my recovery and I mentioned that I wanted to do some fear food challenge videos and here we are. It's the next day. It is Sunday, May 23rd, I believe, and I have decided to challenge myself to eating some of my fear foods. Now, I'm Heather, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I've been forgetting to say hi. Why is your eyes so red? Because I probably blew some blood vessels because Barry kicked my ass. <laughs> we just did um, a Barry's boot camp workout. And then we were sad and want to die. I'm Heather. Um, I am probably in, I would say, partial recovery of my ED right now. And I have had, I think, not all of these fear foods since I decided to recover um, that I'm going to eat today. But I've had it, so I've had some. Oh my god, I'm still just like my brain's not working because of the workout. But I'm hungry, and that's why I pulled out my camera. So for breakfast today, I'm going to have one of my fear foods, which is a bagel with cream cheese. Now, this is a food that I love because it's the only jinx. And when I first started my intuitive eating journey back at the beginning of the year, I had some of these. Things. I had the bagel with cream cheese with smoked salmon and I just did all this fun stuff with it But then I had a couple of speed bumps in my recovery and since those speed bumps I've been a little bit nervous to have a bagel with cream cheese again But I'm gonna do it because it's delicious and that's what I want to have for breakfast today <laughs> It is, for one thing, breaking a couple of old food rules here. This is not a whole wheat bagel. I feel like if I did ever have a bagel, I would have only felt like I could have 100% whole wheat. Um, and I would have measured the cream cheese. Or I would have only had half the bagel. But I'm having the entire bagel because I want to. And that's fine. And I did not measure the cream cheese. Boom. What up? What up? So, I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy, I'm gonna to try to, to not watch anything while I eat at least two of the three meals today. I've not been great about eating mindfully, but I'm gonna enjoy this and eat it. Tyler will be the thing I watch. Yeah, I feel unnatural need to be entertained. Mm. Could I? Be any more friends? <laughs> this is so good. But we were on a break. I like dinosaurs. less than four minutes <laughs> I eat so fast I'm not usually super hungry after a workout but I think because it wasn't super cardio based that's why I'm really hungry and I would say in terms of fear foods this is probably on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being oh my gosh I'm super nervous to eat that um, and one being like whatever it's an apple um, this is probably like a five and a half or a six, um, especially because it's my first meal of the day. And so I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I've already eaten too much today in quotation marks because that's not a thing unless you are in pain. Um, so I'm, I'm okay. Like I don't feel nervous or anything. 
I do know that I know what foods I have planned to eat today, so some of those are gonna be a little bit more nerve-wracking than this one, but this was super yummy. Hit the spot. Tyler, do you want a bagel with cream cheese? No, he's <laughs> like, absolutely not. The buzz is better. <laughs> you know it's a Sunday afternoon when there's a line out the door at Better Buzz. of ketchup versus ketchup. Oh, those are tasty. Very salty. Heather, how are you feeling? I'm feeling anxious. Why are you feeling anxious? Because just the feeling of being as full as I feel. I don't feel stuffed, but I feel very full. Mm -hmm. And... Is your ED talking to you right now? Yeah. So what do we say to our ED when they're talking extra loud? I don't remember. Well, you can say you had a nourishing meal and that your ED needs to just be quiet. You can acknowledge that it's being extra loud at the moment and acknowledge why it's doing that. What's the worst thing that could happen from you having a good meal, a good sized meal, that burger? What's the worst thing that happens? The worst thing that happens is I gain weight. You gain weight. How much could you gain from that burger? Well, it's, it's not just the burger. It's also the uh, let's just focus on that one, that one action. What's the, how much could you gain from that one burger? Not even a whole pound. Okay. But I'm also I'm thinking about what I have planned for dinner. Mm-hmm. And I'm worried about it. I also just feel really sluggish and heavy and Yeah. I just didn't feel good. I don't feel energized. Is that because of the burger? Is that the cheese or is that the fries, you think? I feel like it's all of it. All of it combined? Yeah. 
what is the problem with feeling sluggish and just lazy right now? Because I feel like if I don't have the energy to keep moving, then my ED is telling me it's just going to sit and not do good things. Okay, well, why don't we say it is, what time is it? It is one o'clock. You have 50 minutes. It's 109. You have 50 minutes to be lazy and just enjoy being full. And then at two o'clock, we will go do something. That sounds good. And are you any under any obligation to have pizza or something sweet today if you feel sluggish and you're not hungry? Well, if I'm not hungry, then I won't. I'm right. not hungry. So your ED can go shut right the hell up because you're under no obligation. And if you're hungry, you have what you want. Yeah, but the video... I don't care about the video. I'm sorry, Internet. I don't really care because I care more about her. All right? We'll see what happens. We don't have to do it for the grams, baby. Okay. All right? It is 5.30, well, hello camera. It is 5.30, I'm still pretty full from that lunch. That burger and fries were super filling, but I picked up my camera because I have made myself a Moscow Mule. I made one for myself and one for Tyler yesterday evening. I was just, I don't know, I had a hankering for it. The reason I'm showing it to you is because alcohol and cocktails and things like that are definitely, I mean, it's not food, but it's a fear beverage, I guess. I just don't drink very much, and I don't know if it's because I don't like to drink very much or if it has to do with the calories that I'm afraid of are in alcohol and cocktails and all of that so because I enjoyed them so much last night I was craving one just now and I'm just gonna kind of lean into it and enjoy one and just not worry about the calories that are in there and it's funny this video gets scarier as I progress throughout the day just like I said about the breakfast like the bagel was not scary to me at all because it was the first meal of the day and now I'm just like oh my gosh that burger and fries that was a lot of food and now I'm about to have a cocktail and oh my god blah. but I'm just rolling with it and I'm gonna enjoy this Moscow Mule this ridiculously long straw but dang that's good oh I made that one a little bit stronger I'm going to enjoy it and I'm gonna watch The Shining. That's what I'm gonna do for the next two and a half hours or so. And maybe at some point I will get hungry and have my dinner. And I will see you guys at that point. Okay, it is almost nine o'clock and I am finally starting to feel a little bit hungry. So I did end up baking the frozen pizza that I got at Target yesterday with Tyler. So here are two slices that I will be having. And sometimes when I just feel a little bit hungry and then I do start to eat, I realize how hungry I am. So I might end up having more slices. We shall see. But I am gonna start with these two. And I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I did when we went to Burger Lounge. I am going to take my digestive enzyme now because cheese doesn't sit super well with me and I want to just kind of help my body digest it. I think I'm gonna have two. Sometimes I feel like I need two more than just one. But yeah, here we go.
been just a few minutes since I finished the pizza and I really wasn't that hungry so I put the rest away and I feel pretty satisfied in terms of I don't know having dinner like having a meal but my sweet tooth is definitely talking to me so the last thing that I got from Target that I wanted to make sure that I had for today's fear food challenge are Oreos so when I first started the intuitive eating journey at the beginning of the year, I was eating a lot of Oreos and it was amazing because Oreos are amazing. They're just amazing. But when I had my couple of speed bumps, uh, Oreos started freaking out again and so I haven't had them since. I feel like I'm not able to totally control myself around Oreos, which is silly because I know that I'll be satisfied after hopefully I mean ideally these six will satisfy me but if I want a couple more I will have a couple more um, but I don't know we'll see what happens I just I, I just it freaks me out to have a lot of Oreos it freaks me out it freaks me out so here we are what was the point of that sentence I don't know I feel like I'm trying to ease your anxieties and also ease my anxieties but I'm just anxious and that's what this video is so that's okay I'm actually just perfectly satisfied. I'm full, my sweet tooth is satiated, and it's all okay. It's okay. It's all okay. That's it for this video. I sound so hesitant because I am really hesitant. This was harder than I thought it was going to be. It's tough because my fear foods tend to not be the most nutritious kinds of foods and they also tend to be foods that in my intuitive eating journey over the past five, five months I guess um, have been known to just not make my body feel good and I think I mentioned this about alcohol is not knowing whether I'm avoiding the foods because they don't make me feel good or because I'm afraid that eating them will result in my body changing. So I don't know. I don't know. I think the important thing is to not feel restricted and not feel deprived and to not be afraid of eating any food. I think I was able to achieve that today. I ate everything that I set out to eat today and I'm not going to alter my eating or moving behavior moving forward you know part of me would think if I ate this way on a Sunday that meant that on Monday I had to do something different to make up for it or something but I'm not going to I'm gonna just go back to my normal intuitive eating routine and just move on this type of eating that i did today is just not something that i don't think intuitively just feels good in my body and i know that definitively because i ate that way today and i don't feel super great and it has nothing to do with guilt i actually just physically my stomach just doesn't feel super good my I don't think my body likes digesting food like that and what really sounds good to me right now is a lot of vegetables and fruit and fresh things just to kind of I don't know cleanse the palate a little bit so 
yeah i don't know i'm feeling kind of down that food made me feel kind of blah, down and it's tough because in recovery i really don't know i don't know for sure if it's because i'm associating that food with junk food quote unquote or if it's truly that i am i, I eat it and i'm i just don't like how i feel it tasted good there's that the oreos were super good i actually feel like i maybe could have put fewer oreos on my plate and been satisfied with maybe four or five and not six i don't know i don't know but it is what it is it's fine we're going to move on i want to do more videos like this and maybe just kind of tweak how i do it or tweak the theme or the challenge and i'll really know better once i sit down and edit this video kind of if i want to do it a little bit differently but regardless i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely give it a thumbs up because that'll let me know that you guys want me to do more videos like this and if you want to follow more of my journey you can definitely subscribe or follow me on instagram because i'm more active there posting about this particular topic so i'll leave that link down below with all that being said thank you so much it's night time it's 9 30 i'm gonna go to bed soon so if you're watching this at night good night otherwise just good times good day take care <laughs> all right i'll see you guys next time bye